2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the 3M Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Luke Hilby alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player has been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead, they're where they want to be, but what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, focus on the task at hand. They've got to sit there and keep their emotions to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody else around them. Let's get down to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Time for the second shot into the first. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. That was special. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is their look at birdie. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Currently in first position. And a par four awaits at this next hole. This is a tee shot that I believe must be challenged. You must take driver out to hit it over that bunker down the right-hand side to leave yourself with as short a second shot as you can possibly get. This green can cause all kinds of problems as it pitches from left to right down towards the water. It's a birdie opportunity if you're bold enough to take on the tee shot. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. A wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here at the second. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Now on the tee, fresh shot for Booty. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. well struck and what are we looking at here Henny setting up here from about 175 yards what a drive that was they've decided to club up yeah nicely played already had a few birdies today this for another Well done. Take the birdie. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. Here we are at the fourth hole. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the four. Nice 
this one. Fourth birdie of the day. Fantastic start right out of the gate. Now six shots in front after that hole. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Massive, massive fairway here at the fifth. So tee it high, let it fly. Second shot straight back up the hill to a green that's fairly flat with a little bit more movement in the back portion of it. It's a cool design. Nicely done. Playing from 110 yards out. Going with the 9-iron, I think. That should find the surface. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This one's for birdie. Surely it's going to. Wonderful shot. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Still in the lead now after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, Luke, that was a stonker there. The approach shot here, Rich, if you're going for the green. A bit of water there to the left, but is it a good one to get close? I believe so, Luke. I don't see why you would not go for it if you have the firepower to get there. Again, though, just be a little bit cautious with your second shot, leaving it out to the right. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Okay, steady now. Oh, that would be an outstanding to make the eagle. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Seventh hole at the Twin Cities. Risk versus reward. Do you feel brave? Driver will get you glory, but an iron will keep you safe off the tee. Oh, well done. Second shot here on the seventh. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. This putt coming up is for birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Going with the six iron here. Wow, what a shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. This really looks good. And down she goes.
Our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Here we go. We're beginning the ninth hole now. This is fraught with danger everywhere. Out to the right, out of bounds, comes into play quickly. If you miss it over to the left, there's waste area that you want no part of. Find the fairway, and the second shot demands you keep it left of that water. Anywhere on the green on the left side is a fantastic play. That dog will hunt. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. Well played. Leading by six strokes after that one. Well, let's get stuck into the 10th hole, shall we? No real reason to take out driver here and give it a whirl, Luke. Just a fairway metal down the left-hand side, left of that fairway bunker there. Should set up a very simple and straightforward wedge shot. Quality shot, that one. Second shot here at the 10th. Five feet coming up to the cup. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Straight back uphill as well, Luke. You don't want to be in that fairway bunker on the right-hand side, so bail out just a little bit to the left. Second shot, straight back up the hill to a green that is very deep. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. Henny, what's the player facing here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. This should play. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. What a super shot. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Uh, it's a little wayward, bouncing through the branches. Time for the second shot at the 12. Oh, well played. Getting ready to play their third. 
Oh, I thought that one was going in. Just a short putt remaining here. He sits in first position. They say the 13th is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tee is yours. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one's going right at the pin here. Left yourself an opportunity. Putting for birdie. on a good line an opportunity to make a par here in she goes let's head to the next managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard let's begin the 14th Well, this one's right at the pin. That was a beauty. Got to like their chances from there. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Fairly simple and straightforward tee shot here as the fairway pitches in from both the right and left-hand sides. So hitting the fairway shouldn't be much of a problem. From there, the second shot goes straight back up the hill to a green that's protected by bunkers on the left-hand side. That's tiny. This shot from 120 yards. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Now seven strokes up after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Water right, some bunkers left, but as you said, driver not necessary on the short par four. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Second shot here on the 16th.
Good sounding strike, that one. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Okay, let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. It's time for a one-shotter. Birdie at the last hole. Can he make it two in a row? Going with the seven. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Like the look of this one. Just didn't drop. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. Now take the stroll to the final tee of this round. Great shot. Not bad. What's in front of them, Henny? This one will run uphill. Go in. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. And it's worth taking another look at that one. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in?